All right, coming up next, we get to this welterweight bout between Robbie Lawler and Johnny Hendricks. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Good punch lands. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice stick with the right hand. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. Nice stick with the right hand. Just missed with the left there. And they separate. Nice strike. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, a huge block there. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. Beat his leg up. Well, he caught the kick there, and then counters with the takedown. So a lot of fighters, when they catch that kick, would move immediately into the takedown, and it worked out for him there. It worked out great. Caught the leg, threw right into his opponent, and put him on his back. Nice punch by Law. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Robbie Law. Whiffs on the right hand. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. No surprise that he would go for it there, but unable to get the fight to the ground. Whenever your opponent knows that you're going to try to take him down, you have to disguise it. He did not disguise it. He tried to shoot a blind shot and got defended as you would expect him to. Good punch. Continues to eat power shots here. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big kick. Nice kick with the right hand. Switching stances here. Big rig gets the takedown. Ten seconds now in round one. He's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done Stop, by Lawler. Uh, uh. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Yeah, round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge and reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Baller gets caught with that. Punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, nice job by Lawler to stick and move, landed in the pocket, and then retreated. His striking has never looked better than it does here early in this one. Oh, he's got his back. He starts lifting him in the air to try to finish his takedown. Just missed with that right hand. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. 
Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the puck. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time, this guy's... Oh, oh, oh. Well played shot there, DC. He is officially rocked. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Oh, straight right. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take this big ground and pound strike. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, you gotta look at the finish, continue to gain posture, and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Back to the stand-up now, both fighters upright. Well, you better start doing something defensively. A lot of these knees are landing to the bottom. I mean, and it's going to drain you. You cannot stand there while someone has a clinch and is just driving knees into your body. Nice punch, man. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. All right, so there's the end of the round. Two things in MMA more devastating. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets on. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Just out of range with that right hand. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. That was snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Oh, and the ankle pick to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances. Oh, beautiful job with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Oh, this might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Nice stick with the right hand. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent oh! very bad. Now we go inside the octagon. 